It's really exciting to be here. I've been at um, these in the past, but never in my current role. This is my second week as Vice Provost for Graduate Education and Postdoctoral Affairs. But I've been heavily involved in the energy community, as Arun said, um, for, for quite a number of years. And this is a great summer school. You guys are very privileged to have the opportunity to be exposed to all of the different things you are here in the energy at Stanford and Slack Summer School. I'm going to give you a quick welcome. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to say a few words um, sort of on behalf of graduate education at Stanford, and then we'll go into this fantastic panel that is organized. Um, so uh, you already heard that I, my own research is in energy, but Stanford is full of opportunities across the entire spectrum of scholar, scholarly work and academic study. So um, I'm going to sort of focus my remarks on, on things that are relevant to this group. Uh, you have a great program. You, you're one day into it already. Um, you can see about the various learning objectives. This is co-sponsored by multiple organizations, Precourt Institute, SLAC, um, and VPGE office also helps support this particular summer school. And this is one of 10 that we're offering uh, right now this week. So to give you the perspective, the Stanford Graduate Summer Institutes, there are 10 of them. There are 460 students that are taking part this week and postdocs from all seven schools. And um, there are examples of other courses. I know you had to pick this one when you went online to sign up for it, but some of the other ones are also very interesting. There's one on sustainable agriculture that's being held at the educational farm. Negotiation at the law school. There's a design thinking uh, and planning your life um, at the D school. There's one on ethics in academia um, at the ethics center, just to name a few of them. And everybody's going to come together on Monday at a reception. So I encourage you to come. You should have received an invitation for that. You'll be getting another invitation soon. Uh, we know you're going to be busy. You're already probably a little overwhelmed by everything going on here at Stanford. Um, but uh, you're going to be um, doing lots of orientation type of activities. But we do encourage you to come to this reception. You'll get to meet other students who have been part of the various uh, summer schools. So. What is VPGE? So this is the office that represents all 9,400 graduate students at Stanford University. We also represent postdocs. Uh, we are try to expand what's possible in graduate education, and we are here to support you as you um, go through your graduate studies. So we complement what your department, your program, your school offers. Uh, we collaborate heavily with all the other units at Stanford to try to make sure that we can support your academic progress and your well-being um, as you go through our programs here. So we have sort of a holistic view of how we support you. Um, we, uh, we have five areas of focus, which are shown here. So we offer academic guidance. So things that um, come up related to policy. We don't set policy at the VPG office, but we can help um, be a resource to you um, as policy. We can help with problem solving. We also um, have a number of programs to foster diversity and inclusion. You can learn about them as you go through, and you can look at our website and see them. We have a very great program on professional development, and I'll come to that in a moment. Um, it's really to help you succeed not just here in graduate school, but also beyond. So we will give you the tools you need. You can take advantage of whichever ones you like to really be successful. We facilitate interdisciplinary learning, for example, this Stanford at Energy and Slack is one of our SGSIs that really helps facilitate learning across boundaries beyond your particular program that you're here for. And also a big role that we do is we award fellowships and funding. So we have a number of fellowships that come through our uh, office. Some of them, some of you may be applying for or, or hear about. We, we um, see uh, the competitive SGF fellowships, DARE, EDGE, we also support other types of funding, um, both of faculty and students. So I encourage you to go to the web page, VPGE. We have lots of things on there. But particularly relevant to you as you come into Stanford is to look at what's being offered in some of the courses for autumn quarter. So if you go to the professional development uh, link, you can see what's being offered for fall. Um, there are lots of activities uh, that are related to um, these opportunities, but also um, things related to new graduate student orientation will be taking part in a number of those as well. So this is something that um, students have found very useful. It was developed in the VPGE office a few years ago. It's the graduate professional development framework. It really speaks to the point that you're here to do deep studies in your area of interest, but 
you also should take advantage of what Stanford has to offer and get broader skill sets that'll help you throughout your career. So you can see if you go to the wheel on the uh, website, you can click on, you know, I'm interested in leadership and uh, management or I'm interested in communication and you can see what the offerings are on each of these. So we really encourage you to use this, um, take advantage of these learning opportunities throughout your time here at Stanford. Stanford's a big place, it's a great place. You're really, um, I think, gonna enjoy and develop um, in your time here. Here's where we are now, the energy at Stanford and Slack course. Here's the VPGE office, it's building 310. It's right next to the uh, church in the quad. Come by at any time and visit us. But this is a very big campus, and the one wonderful thing about Stanford has very porous boundaries. So you're here for one department and one program, but you should take advantage of everything that Stanford has to offer that's interesting to you. And um, we hope that you meet many people, you learn, uh, you network with lots of different folks from all around uh, the campus and different fields. So it's really one of the strengths of Stanford. You can take courses outside of your program, you can do research with people outside of your program, um, and within. You can get involved in student activities all across campus. So let me say a little bit about what it's like to be a graduate student at Stanford. I was a graduate student at Stanford myself, actually. I got my PhD in chemistry here a number of years ago. And things have really, some things are the same and other things have completely changed. First of all, the campus has a million new buildings. That's really changed. This building wasn't here. This is about a four-year-old building that you're in. Um, but the number of, um, resources available around campus has really, really expanded, and we are here to serve our student populations. So it differs from being an undergraduate when you're a graduate student. You are gonna be much more independent in deciding what you wanna do. You take much more initiative. You're really the captain of your own ship. Um, uh, and you're gonna have a lot of freedom. Now that comes with the good and the bad. Uh, every path is gonna be different. You can't just follow what your classmates are doing because you might be doing something very different. Um, of course, you can look to your peers for inspiration. You should look to your academic advisors as well for, um, for information. But ultimately, you have to decide your own path. And grad school can be challenging. Okay, undergrad's challenging too. Uh, it's really meant to challenge you intellectually um, as you pursue your interests. But you, many graduate students struggle periodically. There are ups and downs in graduate school. You might encounter difficulty. You might be unsure, is this really what I want to be doing? Um, these are all normal to experience in graduate school, and there are lots of resources to help you through all of the various times in school. There's a really robust network. So you can see your first line of defense are going to be people within your department and your program, your faculty advisor, uh, your student services officer, the chair of your department. But then we have uh, lots of other uh, groups further out. Um, throughout the university that are here to help you. For example, if you live in on-campus or subsidized housing, you have your community associate, um, and you have always the VPGE office, and there's also the um, graduate life office, which is very valuable to graduate students. We're all here to help. You have already probably come across um, the energy.stanford.edu website. It's a fantastic website, thanks to uh, Precord for helping facilitate this. Um, you can see that there's energy re research and activities all across campus. You can take courses, seminars, internships. Um, you can get career information. There's really no shortage of um, opportunities to look things up all across. There is a ton of research going on in energy. Okay, there are over 225 faculty and staff who do research, and you can see it across energy broadly described. Okay, everything from environmental impacts to deep technology, to um, efficiency of energy use, and so on. So you can look and search this database and really take advantage of these things. There are lots of independent interdisciplinary centers. The Tomcat Center, which Arun mentioned that I directed until a week ago, uh, was one of them. But there are many others. And they, you, you, know, you can find your particular interest in the energy sphere in one of them. Okay? They focus on different things. Some of them have deep research. Some are more academic. Some have um, policy, some are uh, related to innovation and um, startups. So you can find what you want anywhere. And I think the difficult thing, the biggest challenge, I think, for new students at Stanford is narrowing down what you're going to do given all the opportunities, because there are really so many different things. But take advantage when you're new here to see what's out there, and then you'll start to focus on what you, what you really want to do. 
So let me welcome you again. Uh, this is the summer school, but it's going to launch uh, the rest of your graduate uh, work here. You have um, great opportunities lie ahead, but take the initiative, ask questions. People are really here to help you. Do not be shy about asking faculty and staff uh, for help at any time. And we hope to see you at the reception on Monday. And I will now um, welcome you one last time and turn it over to this panel.